simple wind in Blender is quite simple. Click on the object you want to add simple wind to and click the add simple wind button. And you've added simple wind. Oh, if you don't have this button, this is just an add-on I made for myself. Available for free on Gumroad. It only automates these steps. Let's do it without the add-on. Click on the object you want to add wind to. Shift S, cursor to selected and add an empty. Click back on the object, go to modifiers and add a simple deform modifier. Bring down the angle and then change the type to bend and choose the empty we just added as the origin of the simple deform modifier. Now when we turn this empty, kind of looks like there's simple wind on it. Add a rotational keyframe to the empty, go further down the timeline, rotate the empty, add another keyframe, shift E and click linear extrapolation so the animation continues after or before the keyframes we set. You can change the keyframe distance to adjust the speed and you can experiment with X, Y or Z and different amounts of angle. Additionally, you can parent the empty to the object so when you want to move the object the wind doesn't get weird like this. So parent the empty to the object and then when you move the object the empty stays in the origin. So yeah, this one button just does all those steps in just one click and every time the button is pressed, the keyframe distance is varied. So every time you press the button, it's a little bit randomized. So it's not the same wind on all of them. A little bit about this scene. I took the nature assets from the botanic add-on. This is just a huge library of nature assets with trees and shrubs and grass and everything you might need. And it comes with like different seasons, there's winter, there's spring, summer. And the other assets in the scene are the things I scanned. They're also available on Gumroad. One of them is the ancient city of Ephesus and some rocks from my backyard. I've made another add-on for myself that makes the masking process easier in Blender. If you want to see how that add-on works and how masking is done in Blender, check out the next video and I hope I'll see you there. And if you're already and if you're coming from there, hi.